Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tony, and I am a homeschooling mom to four kids. And I am going to review curriculum. I have reviewed lots of curriculum um, since I started this channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a brand new to us math curriculum. We have used the same math curriculum for many, many years. So this is a big step to switch all three of my girls. We've been doing it for about five weeks now and I feel like I have a good feel for how the curriculum works and can share with you what we like and don't like and um, so you can get a feel for it and see if this might be something that'll work for you. So if you're interested in hearing about math you see and how it's been working for my three girls, stay tuned. Okay, so my girls, just for reference, are um, 11, 9, and 7. And so we are coming from Christian Light Education Math that we've used for many, many years and absolutely loved it. It has been great. I have a video that I've done on Christian Light Education. I still highly recommend it. Um, I will link that in the comments below if you want to see what that one is about. But my oldest daughter needed something new. And um, what we were using just kind of wasn't working for her as she's getting into the higher level math and so I've heard so much about math you see I was a little nervous about trying something new with math I love to change curriculum as you can probably see if you've watched any of my curriculum reviews you can see that we've tried a lot of stuff and I have no problem with switching curriculums but math is that one thing that like it would be great to find one that you love and you can use all the way throughout and so you're not switching and if you find something that you don't like you end up getting them behind and whatever so I was a little nervous but this has been so great so far we love it so if you're not familiar with this curriculum instead of having grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 they have alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon um, they're using the Greek alphabet so you place them where based on either the placement test or what they need what level you feel like they need to work on. So my oldest daughter, I felt like fractions would be the place to be. She placed there in the um, placement test online with no problem. So I felt like this would be something that I wanted to get a really good, strong um, foundation on before we start moving into pre-algebra and algebra and things like that. So the things that are included with the Epsilon um, level are, there is a test book that you use. The tests are once a week. There's um, the instruction manual, the teacher's guide, which you do need. Um, you don't necessarily have to teach the lessons, but you um, this has extra help to help explain things that you may not, if you're not a super strong math mom, this might be helpful for you, plus all the answers in the back of the book. You definitely need the answer key, unless you want to work all the math problems yourself, which I don't want to do. Um, there is the DVD, which is what teaches them the lesson. And then um, the math you see manipulatives. This is the fraction overlay set. So this thing is pretty cool. Um, it has all these little pockets that have um, little overlays in it. So these fraction overlays are just really cool. It's just a cool way for the kids to be able to visually see um, when you're making different um, fractions and things, they can see what that is. And then if you were to take some away, how much is left and or adding or multiplying or whatever it's having you do with the fractions, the overlays help them visually see how to do that. And it's actually been a huge help. I know some kids use the overlays and the manipulatives we'll talk about in a minute. Some kids use those um, and some don't have to. And there've been quite a few lessons where my daughter just understood it and she didn't have to use these. But then sometimes she'll come to me and say, mom, I don't understand this story problem or something. And, I, and I'll usually say, get out your fraction overlays and see if you can work it out. And then she'll take it out and she's like, oh. So just being able to see um, how you do it. I'm a very visual person, so this would have been really cool for me when I was learning fractions and things like that. So this has been really good. She has done really, really well. So the other thing that comes with the set is the student workbook. So this is what they will work out of every single day. Now, I will tell you that what I'm about to explain now is what was the most overwhelming kind of confusing thing to me. So typically we do school what for maybe five days a week, okay? Pretty much. So you would assume there's gonna be five lessons for each week. Well, there's not, and that's what was hard. If you are a box checker, this was a little bit hard for me. So they've got, um, there are 
I think, eight pages. So you've got lesson practice. You have one A, which is front and back. So there's one lesson is front and back here. There's one B, one C. Those are all the lesson practices. They're just different ways to practice the lesson, obviously. Then you've got systematic review, which goes back to what they would have learned in other books or earlier in other lessons and things like that. So you've got one D for a systematic review, one E and one F. So there's six of those lessons. And then one G is um, application and enrichment, which is more of a fun thing, like for the younger grades, sometimes it's like a, you do math problems and color them in. This, this was a word search for her. So you've got really seven lessons and a test as an optional, as, as things that you need to fit into your week of four to five days of math. So what we have done is if there's a day where they got through, they, they also watch the video. So they watch the lesson on Monday. So they'll watch the lesson and then they'll do a lesson practice, so they might do lesson A. If my girls, the way I've done it, to get through, we don't do all the pages, but to get through most of these pages, is I'll have them do lesson 1A, which is the lesson practice, and then like 1D, which is the systematic review. If they got through their lesson quick enough, I'll have them do two pages. If there's a day where we don't, we have to be somewhere or, um, or so we don't have time to do two lessons or if there's a day where it took them a little bit longer to do the lesson I don't make them do two pages so we I've heard people say this and at first I was like I can't skip pages you have to do all the pages right well you don't but that was hard to get through that um, to feel okay with it so we are now on week five we just started week five um, this week and I feel like they, you can tell when they really are grasping the concept, if they're getting pretty much everything right, they don't need to do the lesson practice three times or maybe they don't need to do all the systematic review pages. You have to pick which lessons they really need to work on and just go with that. And it's okay to have some blank pages in this book. So that was my biggest hang up at first was like, how are we gonna get all these lessons in? And the first week I overloaded my girls by saying, we're gonna do two lessons every day. And I realized, okay, don't make them do that. That's too much because some lessons were longer, harder for them. And then they were ending up getting stressed out having to do two lessons. So don't make them do that. Take my advice from that. So, but once you get that figured out and like today, my girls each did one lesson. They watched their video today and then they did one lesson. So that's all they did. Then they turned it into me and then I grade it. And it has been so good. Um, they've all done really well on their tests at the end of the week, which I know some people don't even do the tests, but we do. I like to do tests for math. This has been really good. I will show you the other two levels um, real quick, but so far my oldest daughter who really needed some extra help in math had, is enjoying math and saying how much she loves this. I love that the lesson is taught on the computer. She, my daughter, any of my girls, even my youngest, can sit there with their headphones on and watch the lesson. The first week or so, I did watch the lesson with them just so I kind of was on the same page. But I've got four kids, I'm teaching a bunch of different things, so I don't have time to sit there and watch all the lessons. They are quick, they're like, I think sometimes five to 10 minutes. Um, so it's a pretty quick lesson, but it's nice that they can watch it themselves. And then if I, if they need help with something and I didn't watch the lesson, so I'm not exactly sure how they taught that, the lesson is all broken down in here in the instruction manual. So you just go through here. It's word for word. What he teaches is in this book. So you can easily go back and figure out what exactly there's little pictures and stuff. So it's really easy to figure out. And I was a little nervous because this is a totally new kind of math that we've never done before, but we've adjusted really well and everybody is actually enjoying math and they have fun and they like doing math, which is kind of like totally crazy, right? So let's look at our other two books. Okay, so my second daughter is doing the Delta book, which is single and multiple digit division. So that's what this whole entire year is gonna be based on, which I wasn't sure at first because we've done spiral before. We did Christian Light Education, which is very spiral and brings in all kinds of stuff. You're doing many, many different things every day. This does have other stuff thrown in there, so you're not just doing 
the single and multiple division, um, the systematic review pages will bring in other stuff and you're doing story problems and things like that. But that's basically what you're doing this year. Um, so this also has the same stuff. You've got the student workbook that your child works in that's um, consumable. You've got your teacher's manual that's got all the lessons in here and the, all the answers to the tests and the, um, and the student workbook pages, all the answers. Then you've got a test booklet and then you have um, your DVD that has the lessons on it. So it's the exact same setup as the other one. So that's nice too. The kids know what to expect. They know everything um, that is expected of them. Now, she has not started using the blocks yet, but I'm pretty sure this level is going to be using the blocks. But the beta, this is what my youngest daughter is using, which is beta, which is multiple digit addition and subtraction. So she's the one that is really using the blocks a lot, which I will show you in a minute. But we've got um, the student workbook for her, same thing. We've got the tests, we've got the instruction manual here, and then um, she has her DVD set too. Now I don't have a cool fancy schmancy box to keep my um, manipulatives in. I need to find something. I've seen people use all kinds of different things. Um, I bought this used, so I have it in the bag. Um, we've got 100 blocks that they use, and this teaches them. It's amazing how it teaches them. We've got like this little pink Lego box that's got all these pieces in it. Um, but it teaches them, they so easily recognize the colors that go with the number, with the blocks. Like I had wondered um, with my kids not starting from the, from alpha, from like the first level, I was like, oh, they're gonna have a hard time. You know, they're gonna feel like they have to like count the blocks to figure out, oh, this is a 10. But it only took, it, right away it seemed like my daughter already knew when I would tell her 15. See, I don't even know which one is 15. She would take a 10 and a five and she would know that that was 15. But she just knew by looking at it, but they're all color coded um, little pieces. He, the teacher uses the same exact pieces except in a bigger version on the whiteboard when he teaches the lesson. But um, these blocks have been really great. They really, um, they really, reinforce what they're learning and being able to visually see it has just been really great. So I am so happy with switching to this curriculum. Um, so far, like I said, we're five weeks in. I don't have any regrets about switching. And like I said, I was really nervous about switching because what we were using before, Christian Light, it was actually my oldest daughter kind of needed something else, but my other two were doing great. And so I was kind of like, oh, should I switch them over? Um, or should I keep them in Christian light? And the reason I switched was because I thought, if we end up loving this, I'm gonna wish I had switched everybody this year. So I was like, I'm just gonna rip off the Band-Aid, we're all gonna switch, see how it goes, and just say a prayer. And so far, it's working really, really well. So I am um, very pleased with this curriculum, and I would highly recommend it. So I, I just think it's been great. It's a cool new way to learn math. And fun, I mean, they really do enjoy it. So um, I would highly recommend Matthew C. So if you're looking for a math curriculum, that is really good. And like I said, the other one, if you're, this is a mastery approach. The other one that I highly recommend is Christian Light Education, which is a spiral approach. So I've got kind of like two opposites that we've used in both our amazing math curriculums, in my opinion. So check the um, comments box if you wanna see my video on the Christian Light Education math program that we use. But that's all I've got. That's my review of Matthew C. I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, give me a thumbs up and um, leave a comment. Let me know if you've used Matthew C before, if this is working for you, what level you're in. Um, I'd love to hear about that, but it's been great for us so far. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do that so that you're notified every time one of my new videos comes out. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.